We're fairly close to neutral between stocks and bonds in our portfolios, but we do maintain an overweight position in emerging market stocks. There are risks associated with emerging market stocks. Of course, the pandemic and also the lingering issue of trade, the effect of the pandemic on trade and the negotiations and all the geopolitical aspect of trade. Those are risks, but we think they're more than fairly priced at the moment. As of June, emerging market stocks have underperformed US stocks by over 50% on a cumulative return basis for the last five years and just 9% underperformance relative to the US just year to date. So we're entering extreme valuation territory where emerging market stocks have become quite attractive, all else being equal by historical standards. Also, a weaker US dollar should favor emerging markets. And as the US has driven the rate differential with the rest of the world towards zero, as monetary policy in the US, like the rest of the world, is now at the zero bound, uh, there is no positive or very little positive interest rate differential with the rest of the world that could sustain a stronger US dollar going forward. Also, in favor of emerging markets, we think there are very good active management opportunities in the asset class at the moment. Emerging markets are not all linked to commodities as they used to be, at least not as much as they used to be. We now have a vibrant tech sector in emerging markets and we have companies that are secular winners that have sold off with the asset class. And also the financial sector can benefit from slightly higher interest rates and some net interest margin revenue uh, in their favor relative to non-emerging market financials. So active management and security selection in those markets can provide some real opportunities. And lastly, just the usual flow of liquidity between the Fed and emerging markets hasn't made its way yet, but historically it has, and it, typically it does. So that could, given the valuation buffer in favor of emerging markets, uh, if we get a recovery phase in the pandemic in those markets in the Middle East and South America eventually recover from this, we could see that liquidity in a typical stock market recovery broadly make its way into emerging market stocks.